Pastor 414 Ministries. This is Tracy. And today, do you know we're answering that question, why? Do you not ever ask yourself, why did this happen? Or why did God allow this in my life? I just don't understand. Well, listen to what the Bible talks about here in Deuteronomy 29, 29. It says this, the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us. Guys, we all know there are things in our life that will happen that we just don't understand. Whether it's something small like why a boyfriend broke up with us. Why did that happen? I'm devastated. To huge things like someone you really love died. Or you ended up with a terrible, terrible disease and you're crying out to God and you just don't understand why this happened. Or some calamity came along in your life and I mean it, it shook your core and you don't understand why and you really want to know and you're crying out to God for an answer. Let me just bottom line it for you right here, okay? You will spend the majority of your life trying to figure out the whys of life that you don't understand. But what that text is talking about, there are times God will not tell us the why. He says the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things he reveals to us are ours. That means that there are times that God will give us a glimpse as to why he allowed something to happen. He'll reveal it to us, maybe a couple years down the line, but he'll let us know why something happened. But I'll tell you what, a lot of times in our life, God does not reveal it to us because it's his, it's the secret things. And you know what you gotta do to overcome that? You have to create this file in your mind and it's called the unknown. You got to file it in there, leave it aside and say it's unknown, but God knows. And I have to trust him with okay, that. I want you to listen very carefully, okay? What I've learned in my life is more times than not, God does not reveal the why. You have to trust him. Do you truly trust God that he is going to work all things together for good? for those who love the Lord. Do you love the Lord? See, sometimes God will bring along something so huge and calamic in your life that it's like a crossroads. I mean, it's, it's this, okay? It's the cross, all right? You're going straight with God and, and you got it going on and you think you're tight with the Lord and then he allows something huge to happen in your life. I mean, it just, it, it just shook you. And you, in your reasoning, you thought, how could God let this happen to me? I thought God would never allow this to happen. Maybe I'm not serving the God I thought I was serving. Maybe Jesus isn't all he's cracked up to be. Maybe I got it wrong. And so you know what you do? You take that left hand turn going off on that crossroad and you leave God. And I can hear some people thinking, I would never do that. You say that now, but allow something huge to happen in your life. Look at Job, okay? Let's go to the book of Job real quick. Job had a lot of stuff happen to him. I mean, he was taken down one thing after another after another. And I'm not going to go into the whole story, but let me ex tell you this part. Job, in the Bible, you do not see that God ever explained to him why this was allowed to happen to him. What you do see, though, near the end of the book is God rebuking Job for a chapter or two, saying, where were you, Job, when I created the earth? Do I need counsel from you, Job? Do you tell the sea to come this far and stop? No, I don't think you do. And, you know, it really did put Job in his place. He covered his mouth and he said, I have said too much and I speak no more. Okay, I but, hear you saying, how do I apply this to my life? How do I apply not knowing to my life? Can you spin it around in a positive way there, Tracy? Sure I can. Just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> what you have to do is you have to decide beforehand that I do trust God. But how do you trust God? 
You can't just trust somebody you don't know. What it takes is due diligence. You have to put your work in ahead of time. You have to spend time with the Lord, which means you got to spend time praying and, and communicating with him. You have to read his word so that way you can understand who God is. You might want to go to church too there so you can hear God's word being, being spelled out for you, okay? And maybe God will speak to you through that pastor. God promises in his word, if you seek me, you will find me. God's word will not return void. He says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. So you can develop that relationship with God. You can get a, a tight relationship with the Lord. So when these heavy things do come down, you know God is the creator of all the universe, of all things, that he is trustworthy. He knows the beginning from the ending. You do not. We're not God, right? We we didn't create all things. We don't even know what's going to happen in the next second. But God knows what's going to happen in the end. He is there for you. He says he's your comforter. He will be with you. You just have to trust him and walk through those hard times with him. Know that he's got your hand and he is with you and he does love you. When that relationship is where it needs to be, when it's growing, when it's vibrant, when these tough times do come along, you won't question God because you know his sovereignty. You know that he is working all things together for good and you will move forward with him. See, we'll get to that place where we do trust the Lord. Well, we do know that he does love us and that he does have our best interest in mind. I hope this will help you through those tough times. Guys, this has been Tracy from Esther 414 Ministries.